have little chats. <laughs> oh man, that's beautiful here. I want to talk to you about wanders, star seeds, light workers. Those of you who clicked on this channel, I'm sure, are exactly that. We are here reincarnated in these physical bodies from the higher dimensions. We've been through all these different lifetimes already. We've been through these situations of other planets ascending. And we chose to come here, but we were also chosen because of the experience we have, because we've done this before, because we're masters at it. And if you are a wanderer, that means you've probably been through a lot in your life, a lot of challenges, a lot of darkness, betrayals, trials and different circumstances to challenge your life, to challenge you, catalyze you into your growth, into your highest purpose, into your mission of what, who you are now and what you're supposed to do. And before we incarnate, we choose these different challenges. We choose, we sign up for all of this so we could remember who we are. We could remember who we are in this world of forgetfulness, in this world of chaos and confusion. We're here to be the ones that remember who we truly are. We're here to be the change. And we're here to be an example, to be leaders of the new earth. And there's a lot of people in the new age community. Um, um, think that they're only from like one star system. Like, oh, I'm, Ple I'm Pleiadian, you know, and all this. I'm from Sirius. We're actually from, we've been all over the galaxy, we've been all over the universe. And yes, we might be more connected with a certain star system, a certain galaxy. For me, I am the most connected with Andromeda, is what I've been told by these higher beings. And uh, a lot of us, we might, we might have experienced uh, UFO, we might have seen UFOs from when we were little kids, uh, had different ex different experiences with angelic beings, uh, and all sorts of things. For me, I used to be a drink, I used to be addicted to drugs. It was part of my awakening. It was part of me remembering who I am, going through all that darkness to transform myself into who I am today. Along with many other things that I've been through, even recently. And we go through these, when we incarnate into these bodies, we go through this veil of forgetfulness where we forget who we are. And it has a purpose because if we remembered who we were, people would worship us. People, if we had our, if we remembered who we are, we would have all our powers that we have in the higher densities. People would worship us. And that is not, there is a law in place, a law of free will where we can't violate that. So that's why we're on the same playing field as everybody else where we go through this veil, we forget who we are, and we take a huge risk by doing so. And most of us star seeds, wanderers, the law of one calls us wanderers. And most of us are coming, and the law of one material gives us this seven density scale, which is like correlated with the seven chakras. And in this physical reality, we're in the third, we're in the, we're in the solar plexus, we're in the third density. And we're moving into the fourth density. This is what we're going through as this awakening and consciousness on planet Earth. We're moving into the heart chakra. And most of us 
wanderers. We're coming from the sixth density, which we're very highly evolved beings. And uh, why most of us come from the sixth density is because we can, we have the most available availability and the most strength because we've done this so many times to remember who we are in this lifetime. To get the most out of out of what we can in this lifetime. The law of one also says that uh, wanders and this is the only reality that beings from higher dimensions come into and incarnate. If we're if we're born in, this is the only density, their density is the only density that has a veil, that has a veil of forgetting. Going from fourth on up to fifth to sixth to seventh, there is no veil. You for, you remember who you are. And so this is the greatest challenge. And it's Law of One also says that um, that the main purpose for us here to incarnate into this earth is to help raise the vibration of the planet, which most of you already know. To help be an example, to be leaders, to just shine our light and raise the vibration of the earth just by being on this planet. To awaken, to remember who we are. But also, we're doing it for us, for our own spiritual growth. Because in sixth density, you get to a point where you, you have to turn around and help others ascend, help other beings. You have to kind of be a, kind of be a guide to people or be a wanderer and incarnate into these lower densities to help raise the vibration in these places. But as we do so, we're also doing a mass evolution in our own spiritual growth because we can do it a lot faster by coming here and being wanderers than if we were in the higher densities doing our work. So that's why most of us are here. And we are going through this awakening on planet Earth. We're gonna, we're already seeing so many changes and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of what we're here to do. And it's happening in our lifetime. That's why we chose it here. Most of us, we're born at a certain time, like the 90s, 80s, 70s. If we were born now, most of the souls now are, are being born fourth density because they're getting ready to, because the earth is already a fourth density planet. So most of the souls being born now, the young ones, are fourth density because that's what they're getting ready to do because earth is already a fourth density. This is where their lessons are gonna be. For us, we chose to come in earlier because um, we chose to come here earlier so we could already be grown-ups and we could be doing our work by the time this ascension happens, by the time this ascension event happens, by all these changes happening. And now we're ready. We've done, we're doing the work, we've done the work. And we're here, and it's beautiful. It's amazing, and it's hard. Life is a fucking beautiful bitch. <laughs> it really is. It is a beautiful bitch, and I love it. And, uh, and we're so blessed to be on this beautiful Earth. Earth has the most, one of the planets that has the most diversity of all life, of all humans, of all animals and plants, we have the most diversity. And that is why a lot of these planets went through this ascension a lot easier than us because they have less diversity. You know, we have all these different races, all these different religions, all the, we've been separated by all these different beliefs. And, uh, most of the people on this earth is why we see the world it is today is because they're repeaters of other 
of other cycles on other planets, of third density cycles like we have here, they're repeaters, so they didn't graduate. Uh, the Law of One talks about also there was, uh, there was this planet Maldak that uh, they ended up destroying their planet. It, the whole planet blew up. It was like a super earth in our solar system. And uh, so there's a lot of karma involved in that. Plus, you no know, Maldak was actually Mars, I think. It was one of the two, but Mars also ended up destroying their planet. Uh, could have been from nuclear war or they were in some kind of conflict with each other. They ended up destroying their planet. And most of the souls were, uh, were transferred here by, uh, by the Confederation, which is the, this alliance of beings that, uh, that Ra from the Law of One is part of. And they were the ones who planted humanity here. And most of these souls are coming in either from Mars or Maldak or from different, different star systems that they also had, third density planets that were going through their ascension and they, they didn't graduate so they ended up coming to Earth. So we have all these souls that are repeaters that fucked up, either destroyed their planets or in some kind of way that's why we see most people today, you know, they, they have no desire for this kind of information. And it's, the reason we have this desire for this higher information, for this higher way of being, is because we are higher density beings. We have this yearning for wisdom, this yearning for knowledge. This yearning for a higher love, a higher existence. And most of you, for me, I've always, I haven't had a lot of partners in this life because I always believed in love and I always, um, I always yearn for that connection, for that true love. And the Law of One also talks about that six density beings, they even like, they're up in the sun, they're like complete light beings and they have this higher form of love where they go into the sun and they have this fusion where they generate like, it's just pure, they're, they're all like connected, like all one consciousness. And it's just a higher love. So a lot of you, I've always had a weird thing like just seeing how like fucked up sexuality is on this planet. And yes, my body yearns for that, for that pleasure, for that love. But also it's been like, I can't, I can't connect with somebody who's not on a, like a similar wavelength than me that can understand me. It's always something I've had. And a lot of you might be the same way. Wanting to connect with only people that you have a connection with. A lot of you might have dreams dreams of things uh, things to come. I've had dreams of this solar flash, multiple dreams about it, and then I found out there was like a whole community based around it. It really blew my mind. I've had, I think it was 2017, I went on my vision quest. I started to have contact experiences with angelic extraterrestrial beings. Then I started going on these walks and I would, at night and I would be looking up at the sky when I was living in Wisconsin and I would see all these different kinds of phenomena, all these different light ships and they would be communicating with me telepathically. We would have like a dialogue, they'd be t like channeling to me all this different information and then I would see all these different lights in the sky. Ever since then I've been, I've been seeing them, they've been, they've been around these beings, they've been communicating with me and these are our star family. These are beings that we've been connected with for a long, long time. And a lot of you watching this, you might relate with this. And some of you watching might not be there yet, and that's okay. We're all on our own journey. 
we're all on our own path, our own level of consciousness in this. Some of us might be higher up the ladder than others and that's okay. Same with us and we're all human. We're not better than anybody. Yes, we might, uh, we might be higher along this spiritual journey, but we're here to guide our brothers and sisters. We, we're not here to judge. We're here to be an example. We're here to be of service to others. So I hope this is, I hope this is informational for you. Uh, this is a journey I've been on for eight years now and I've, I've experienced so much. And I'm at this point where I just want to share my experience with others to help others like me, to help others who are awakening and ascending into a higher vibration. And those of, those of you who will be called to this video are, you're going to find it. You're going to, you're going to use this information. And some, some of us, some of you might not resonate with, and that's okay. <sighs> Beautiful day today. I'm happy to be out here connecting with y'all. <laughs> yeah, I love Colorado. I'm going through a weird time right now myself too where I'm like kind of been feeling like drained like I haven't had any energy to actually go do stuff to like work on music in the past couple weeks and if you're feeling that too that's just part of these higher frequencies energies coming in that that are affecting our whole planet or affecting our bodies we have to give ourselves time to rest too honor your body honor yourself and if, it, if you need rest then rest it's all our work our purpose is happening on god's time not our time and they have higher plans for us so i'll see you guys later love you and peace